Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Forge an alliance of e-commerce mites Learn the art of integrating Shopify seamlessly with your Squarespace domain Elevate your online storage functionality and charm So guys, let's get started So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so basically guys in this specific video we are going to work on the integration process of the Shopify store as you can see with our work, uh, Squarespace website. So the first thing to do is to go ahead to Shopify and log in into our account simply by doing that I'm going to remind me next time and create a new website in my Shopify store. So create store like that here we go skip all and then we're going to click on next and just like that choose the account again and here it is the website is being created and the same thing has to be done in uh, Squarespace so we have to create an account in Squarespace as well and have our website ready to go so I have it already done and here we go we have created our account in Shopify so now what we should do is to simply click here on add apps and click on Shopify App Store which is right here after we do so, we're going to be taken to this website where we will find every single app on App Store of Shopify's. Then simply just search for Squarespace. Here we go. And as you can see, there is no app that can actually connect us between do integration between Squarespace or Shopify. The same thing goes for Shopify itself. So if you or I mean Squarespace itself. If you want here to third party tools, you want to extensions you went here and you try to search for Shopify you wouldn't really find it even if you try to look for it so what are we going to do is to actually use basically an alternative for it what this alternative is called basically it is called Zapier so basically how do we do it simply search for Zapier.com and here it is now we just have to wait until it opens and what you should do is to simply open an account in it after you do so, just head up to apps and what you should do is to connect both your Shopify and Squarespace app. So here I'm going to search for Shopify, click on connect, copy the URL of your Shopify store. So Shopify, here we go, go here, copy this and paste it right here. So I'm going to remove this and yeah. Three, remove that and yes and continue and as you can see they're gonna be taken to our website install as you can see right here and it has been made successfully so this is the recent one so I'm gonna remove all the others so we can uh, have a clear vision about our website so here we go let's delete them all so nothing can actually be um, like uh, getting our vision away and the focus away so here we go we have successfully deleted every other connection so this is the recent connection that we have made right now so to make sure that it is working simply click on test connection and the test has been made successfully now go again to the apps here we go and search here for Squarespace now after we did that do the same thing connect so here it is and simply here you will need an API key to generate this API key what you should do is to go ahead into settings and after you do that go to developer tools as you can see right here and then click on developer API key and simply generate key choose what kind of permissions you would like to give to this key so here you can give a lot of permissions either read or write so depending on what you want we will need in this video to read and write after you do so generate the key and paste it right there in this section and you can be connected for me I have my account already connected so here it is let's test the connection and the test has been made successful as you can see now let's create a zap so click here click on create a zap and simply we will need here to create a prompt or to write a prompt so here we just want to connect my Squarespace website with my Shopify store 
and click on enter to generate so now the AI will try to understand what are you looking for exactly and it will try to give you a random conclusion so here is synchronized orders between Squarespace and Shopify this is exactly guys as you can see something which is basically not exactly what you want but it is something similar to it so I would like to go for it so what I'm gonna do is to click on try it so yeah let's try it out and now we have these two automations so here I'm gonna click on the first automation click on choose and basically here choose the first account that you have added click on continue choose the form and choose here the first option that will appear and after that click on continue and the trigger will be made successfully I think yep here it is so click on continue and now we are on Shopify click continue here um, okay you have to put a lot of details here but in general click on continue the step and it will give us an error because basically um, the thing is we didn't fill all the form so we have to fill all the form but only the required ones not everything but here as you can see we don't really have to do so because it will successfully be made after we did that simply just click on publish here we go now it is publishing and as you can see we have to unlock the premium so for now we're just gonna keep it so unlock the premium app to continue because to turn on your zap you will need access to premium apps upgrade now to start a free seven day trial to the of the professional plan to use unlimited premium apps so why is that well basically if you want here let me just go back as you will be able to see let me just go back here yeah right here so basically I have a lot of zaps that has been created and I should simply just uh, turn one of them off and delete the others so yeah I, I should try to delete the others so how can you do that click here delete move to trash and yeah just like that you have deleted every zap so make sure two things that you have free now for this account I have a limited zaps and task I have the total of uh, a total of a hundred so for you guys you have to actually make sure that you have enough zaps and enough task so the task is basically for example each order sent from Shopify to Squarespace or all the way around is gonna be called one task so w let's say that you have a hundred orders well you will do the connection between these 100 orders successfully but if you had more than 100 well then the other uh, orders will not be synchronized and will not be connected between Shopify and Squarespace so make sure to upgrade your plan to the premium plan to actually have them working without any problem and yeah guys with that reason said we have arrived to an end for our video this is how you can connect your Shopify store with your Squarespace website successfully so if you do have guys any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section I will try to answer all of your questions one by one and if you want me to talk about any other topics make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and thank you guys a lot for watching